My name's Brian Gordon, I'm the team leader for the Travel Mentors at Transport for London. My daily tasks revolve around working with anyone with any form of disability that wants to become an independent traveller. If you happen to be travelling on a bus and you, you feel unwell, always let the driver know on the bus. We don't mind stopping a bus at all. The customers are our, our priority, so we just have to make sure we are okay. In an emergency, we have to stop a bus and then just find out what's wrong with the person. If they need any assistance like uh, police or ambulance, and then we've made a code red and then just they're going to let us know how long the ambulance is going to be. The reason we want you to stay on the bus is that there's CCTV on the bus, the bus is warm. We don't want you to wander onto the street and feel that you're going to be putting anybody out. The bus drivers are more than happy to assist you and to make sure your needs are met. It's the same if you travel on the underground. We have what we call customer service assistants. Their role is to help and assist you in any way. That could mean just by calling emergency services for you. It could be to assist you to travel down to the platform. Always ask their advice and make sure they know what your needs are. If we're looking at epilepsy as a hidden disability, it's, it's about traveling normally as you would. Don't feel that you're putting anybody out. Don't feel you're holding up the travel service. They are there primarily for your care. We recognise that uh, many hidden disabilities um, requested the need to have a, a badge or something to denote that they wanted and needed a seat on a bus. The Please Offer Me a Seat badge was introduced. The feedback we've had from that has been extremely good and supportive. Currently over 90,000 people have applied for that badge and are using that badge on a daily basis. Anybody can apply, there is no um, means test or check made. Anyone can apply on behalf of someone else. If you're uncomfortable um, with a badge that says please offer me a seat, you also do get a card that you can keep with your Oyster card or your payment card so you don't have to have a badge on display all the time. One of the support aids that we have available to us is the travel support card. The travel support card is an opportunity for you to write on that card a communication that you want to make AV with the driver or someone at the station. On it you may just have your your name and your and a contact, an emergency contact number. On it you may have a request to say, if I become unwell, could you call the emergency service for me? Anything you want to put on there that you wanted to communicate, especially to a bus driver, especially to one of our customer service assistants, you can have that if you're not able to communicate that verbally. Travel mentoring is about independence. The travel mentoring team are there to come out to you. We come to your home and what we do is we listen to what your needs are. What are the barriers that prevent you from traveling independently? We then look at the access that's available throughout the Transport for London network and we will go and work with that with you to overcome those barriers. Each year the Travel Mentoring Service has worked with over 3,000 people just on our buses alone. I would say that we're looking at a total of around about 5,000 people per year working with travel mentors in one way or another. So coming in the future, we are still looking to improve access on all our network. And one of the ways we're doing this is the Turn Up and Go app. The Turn Up and Go app is being launched to assist those who wish to get up-to-date information about accessibility across the network. So keep an eye on the, uh, on the website and it will give you the information for when it's released.